Yo guys, if you're curious on how to spot a cheater, you're maybe suspicious of your friend, you're suspicious of other people that you watch, watch this video. I'm gonna explain all my knowledge that I've built up uh, in order to spot cheaters. So, first of all, usually you can never be 100% sure if we're talking about wall hacks. We can also not be 100% sure about Kronos users because this game just lacks some recoil. This game has aim assist, so... Weird moments happen on controller, unfortunately. That's hard to spot. We're going to be mainly talking about keyboard and mouse and wall hack. So, first of all, with keyboard and mouse, it's usually pretty simple to spot if someone aimbots. Most people just use a blatant aimbot. And what I mean by that is, it does not mean that they're going to snap on you. It does not have to be that. A blatant aimbot on keyboard and mouse is when they can, as someone turns left or right, I'll show you as, as soon as these guys start running. Look, if this guy starts running, I need to react. There's reaction time when they go left and right. If someone's using aim on keyboard and mouse, they will react in an inhumanly fast way to the direction changes. It's impossible. Humans have reaction time. Sometimes you can get a clip where you instantly react to the movement, which is called a prediction. You predict that they move to the left or the right, and it looks insane. It looks like aim assist, or it looks like aimbot. The way you can spot an aimbotter, though, is if they consistently, in a one match, for example, in a whole match, they do it multiple times. Then you can be extremely confident that they are aimbotting. Everyone has good moments sometimes where they look sus. It happens. Like I said, if it happens multiple times in one match where they have a reaction time of literally zero milliseconds, that's already enough. So that's first. Second of, second of all, a lot of people mistake snapping for cheating like i can snap on target here eventually i'll hit it you know that doesn't mean that they're cheating you, anyone can snap on target okay some people can do it more often than others the issue again lies where they snap on target and they got that instantaneous reaction time as they move left and right or the enemy goes prone it just tracks it perfectly instantly instantaneously again you will know they're cheating now, obviously, uh, yeah, there is snapping with aim with like instantaneous tracking. There is also aimbots where you have to get on target yourself, and then it'll lock on. They call it a low FOV aimbot, uh, which is what I explained earlier. Now, if we're gonna get into wall hacks, usually what I use to determine if someone is likely walling is try and notice. How quickly people react to you jumping corners or going around corners. So often when you play against a wall hacker, they can if they try to hide it, you can still kind of notice if they might be walling by trying to see... You'll feel it. You'll feel that every time you go around the corner, they are extremely quick to shoot. Sometimes, like I said, you have lucky moments where you shoot very early. This can happen. Sometimes they can hear you running, so they start pre-firing and you die quick. Don't instantly call out people on wall hacking or aimbotting because of one clip. That'll make you delusional. You need multiple proofs, multiple instances where the same thing happens. Then you can, in one match, and then you can start really making an opinion about it. Wall hacks is... Generally, though, if someone hides it well, it's just super difficult to call out. Because wall hacks, you can never be 100% sure about. The aimbot with mouse and keyboard, I, like I said, you can literally know. 100%. So that is the issue with wall hacks. And I suggest, if you suspect someone is walling, if they have, have weird personality traits, like, they're hard to be trusted, it might be better to sometimes leave friends like that behind. Um... Like, if you are very confident eventually, but you also notice that they have weird personality traits. A lot of people in this community do closet wall hack, or they use some type of cheat. You know, they don't want to get known, but they can still act completely friendly to you. And you will be like, why would my friend ever cheat? But at the same time, you're suspicious of them, you know. Um, third of all, there's another cheat which is like radar hacks where they can see 
where you are on the map. So while they're playing, they can look very normal, but they just have a radar on the top left. Um, this again is super difficult to spot because we all have good moments. Again, you have to look at does it happen consistently. And that's about most of the cheats that you got in this game. Like, what I suggest is if you're sus of someone, first of all, make sure your friends never get an unlock all tool, okay? Or you yourself as well, don't get an unlock all tool. And what that is, if you don't know, it's getting all the camels in the game, all the characters in the game for free. Here's the issue with it just because they use it doesn't mean they cheat, okay? But the problem is. Eventually, these people get banned for using an unlock all tool. And if they were cheating, it's a perfect cover-up. Here's why. You can simply say, I didn't cheat. I got banned because of the unlock all tool. You know I used the unlock all tool. What are you talking about? Just because I use it doesn't mean I cheat. But here's the problem. They could have been cheating with the unlock all tool. Because eventually, they might have gotten banned with their wall hacks. Or they're with their aim bot, whatever it is. And what happens is, they'll blame it on the unlock all tool. So, if your friend, if your friend doesn't have, if your friend has an unlock all tool or someone you know, just don't take them serious anymore. You cannot take anyone serious that uses that, because it's all it's an instant cover up for actually using cheats. So, personally, if you use an unlock all tool, I'm never going to take the gunfight series against you. Because, yeah, it doesn't mean you cheat, but it's very likely that you are cheating. Because you can just use it as a cover-up. Because otherwise, you would the only way you would get banned otherwise is if you're actually aimbotting. Yes. Or actually wall hacking. That's when you would get banned. But now they got the cover-up. And it'll be like, yeah, I had the unlock all tool, that's why I got banned. And... That's about all the advice I can give you guys. Try to think of those things and uh, that should help you a lot with filtering out cheaters, liars, you know. There you go.